Hello YouTube. Well, a quick update again. I've managed to find a VFD, a three-phase 440 volt VFD that should suit the motor, so that's on its way. I took some measurements from the existing hand wheel on the saddle. This hand wheel looks to be very similar in size and shape to the one on the tailstock. A slightly different fitment. The other one on the tailstock's got a hole with a keyway. This is looking like it's attached with a grub screw. But nevertheless, uh, very similar in size, shape and other dimensions. So I took to SCAD, our favourite modelling tool for the 3D printer, and I've drawn up a replacement part for this. I haven't included any draft in this drawing because it will be printed direct to the finished item. In future, if I chose to cast this in aluminium, I'd then add a little bit of draft angle uh, along a part line and probably have to make a... Um, odd side for it so that I could sand cast it properly. Shout out to Old Foundryman who's given me some great uh, motivation. There. Okay, here's a really quick update on the progress on the lathe. Mel? Hello. Hello. He's done a fantastic job cleaning. Those were already looking pretty good. But check out all the feed screws. They're looking pretty awesome. Bed's looking pretty awesome, and as you can probably see, stepper drivers, steppers, quick change tool post, and what looks to be the prototype material for our non top slide. Link to a video will follow as to what we're actually uh, inspiring us now to go full CNC on this bastard. So, bought for another project, a uh, CNC plasma cutter was the appropriate breakout boards. Got some shaft encoders, I got some uh, positional encoders. These are all things we picked up previously. Um, appropriate stepper join, power switch on and off, 36 amp power supply, 350 amps, so that should be heaps to drive this thing. We also had some ball screws and I'm considering whether or not to replace the ball screw on the cross slide mainly because this is brand new, it's never done any work but in a CNC mode I would expect that the cross slide is going to be moving in and out so a ball screw on the cross slide at minimum may do the difference we need for keeping zero backlash. The feed screw I'm not so concerned about because we're less likely to be moving backwards and forward in feed if we've got control on the cross slide. These two steppers here we salvaged out of the machine that the lathe is currently sitting on which is an old solvent printer. A nice big heavy chunk of aluminium at the base. These are 1.6 newton meter steppers and they've already got pulleys on them. I'm thinking the small pulley would probably be the one we use to operate the cross slide and the big pulley we'd use to operate the feed screw. Probably looking to mill an end off here and use a compression coupling. Do we have one of those compression couplings around? Mill the end off here, leaving us some clearance. To perform as a compression coupling. I'll show you one of these that we've got on the other end. Just coming through. Oh, that's possibly an option. Uh, that's more of a positional sensor. There are lots of scrap machines, old embroidery machines hidden around. But around the corner here, follow us with. Clang. Just going to turn the on piece Oop, coming through into the jungle. Light on. Okay. So, our embroidery machines are all coupled with these split couplers. So dead straight shafts, they hold really tight and I'm thinking that we'll probably use that as the connection, so even probably the right size, between the existing feed screw and our stepper. Um, you know, we've got some other material lying around, old Japanese encoder from an embroidery machine, whole heaps of other linear motion stuff there. But, fun times. So here's some stills of the AL960 conversion that I saw. It's starting to take a taper cut here and you can see quite a heavy depth of cut in this next shot. 
Also following up is the inspiration for not having a cross slide and uh, this I think is a pretty awesome looking machine. I uh, would like your comments or feedback or uh, subscriptions or likes if you enjoy this video series and would like me to keep going. Thanks guys, bye.